Hi dear friends, welcome to session 3.2 sketch exercises. In this session we are going to discuss about different exercises relating to the Solvax sketch. Here these are our eight exercises and we are going to start with exercise number one and before that you can download all these exercises from the description below in this video. Uh, the, the link is available you can download it from there. So we are starting with the exercise number one now. So here we have exercise number one. It is a slot with a semicircle of radius 20. We can have two approaches over here. We can use the line command alone to complete this figure or we can go with the, the slot option. I will show you those two methods. In the software, before starting the drawing, we should set the unit system as well as the snap. If you are not aware about that, please go and watch video number two where I already have explained about the setting of unit system and the snaps. Once you set the unit, you can go with the new option, go to part. In the bottom, you can make sure that your unit system is MMGS or you can go ahead with the your own unit system. I am following MMGS in this particular figure. And the next step is activate sketch, sketch tab and then go for sketch over here. Here you have three mutually perpendicular planes. You need to select a suitable plane. As we are dealing with the 2D drawing, it is not a big deal to select the plane as uh, we are not going to extrude or make or convert this as a 3D. So normally we are going with the front plane. As I explained in our figure, this is the one. The first method we can go ahead with the line option. I am taking line over here. See, at the time when I start drawing, you can see that it is automatically give the dimensions over here. If it is not available, you can right click right button and go and activate sketch numeric input. It is already activated. That's the reason why I am getting the uh, dynamic input. Otherwise, see, if it is not active, you cannot give the values directly. So, right button and activate this one. Now you can give the dimensions directly. I'm giving 50. Come back to the same position to convert the line as a curve. So it's a curve now. So the radius is 20. And then I'm stopping here and move a little bit. This is 5. And come back to the same position to make it as a curve. Or so you can make it like this. And the here the radius also 20. Then you can move 5, come back. So this is very simple one. You can easily complete it. So here you have 50. Here the radius is 20. Here you can give 5. So here 20. See when we are comparing our figure. See, this is the one. So you can see that here the dimension is represented by using a diameter option. So you can change it here as I mentioned in my previous slide. Select this one. In the left side, here you have the option go and the second option is representing diameter. You can convert that into diameter over here. If you want to change uh, the representation, you can change it like this. So we have the exact similar dimensions over here. This is one method and now we are going to uh, do the same thing by using slot option. So here we are going to use the slot option as we know here I have the center point uh, straight slot. I'm starting from here moving a little bit and then we can give the dimensions directly here. Here the dimension is 50. Here we have it is asking for radius, it's 20. And we need to draw a circle in the middle. And as the snap option is active, it will give the midpoint directly. And you can give. And using the trim option, you can trim away the unwanted portion and give the dimensions over here. 5, it's and this one. 20 and you can make this one as limit. So this is the thing. And now we'll go with the exercise number 2. So here we have exercise number 2. This is also a very simple figure. 
we can use the line option and curve option circles and rectangle to complete this particular figure here we go the same method new go to part option you can take sketch and uh, take the front plane so I'm starting with a line a line of 70 60 you can come back to the same position and with the help of snap we can complete it see this is the snap and you can complete it directly so here we have 70 and once you complete the figure just go ahead with all the dimensions please keep the dimensions there otherwise it will change with the other relations and here you can see that no need to give the dimension over here because when we are checking here it is 70 this is representing the diameter of the circle if you are giving one other dimension it is like an over defining the thing so if you are giving the dimension the system will ask like make the dimension driven or driving if you want to keep this one you can just simply keep it it will be grayed like this and uh, now you can go with the dimension it is asking for radius so that I am giving 40 so here I have 40 but I, I want to give it in the same way so I can change over here I need to give the radius so now I have another rectangle that's the last thing I'm taking corner rectangle we can draw the rectangle over here and give the dimensions as well so this is 50 here 15 and there is a distance a gap you can zoom it the gap between these two is 10 and here there is a height of 15 so this is it it's done so all we kept all the dimensions and uh, everything if you want to change the arrow head same as that of the figure here so you can do one thing click go to leaders here we have the option see click inside so this will change so this is figure number two so here we have the figure number three this is also a simple figure but we need to use some additional tools like fillet and some other relations here and these two are different views of the same figure itself so here they have given additional dimensions 15 and the height also we will straight away go for the drawing so the same method go take and uh, go to the sketch option select the front plane I'm starting from the base here I have a distance of 70 here it's 15 now you can start from here this side this is 20 and the this particular length is not given in the question it's 10 actually and the height is 20 20 zoom it and this is 20 you can move down to 10 and then 5 and you can use the snap to complete it and here also it's 10 now I'm going to give the dimensions so here 70 as I mentioned in we need to keep all the dimensions once we complete the figure otherwise it will change with other relations and I have given all the dimensions if you want to move some dimension to some other position you can simply click and move to the required position now here you can see that this area there are one two three four vertical lines and there is a gap of 10 exactly in the middle in order to do that I'm taking center line like this and I can also draw a line in the middle in order to make it exactly in the middle we can use the midpoint line option I'm taking midpoint line see I am selecting the midpoint of this one and I can move like this so the dimension 
is 10 here so now it is exactly in the middle now I can give all the lines so here I have one line it is vertical and uh, see I'm, I'm giving uh, all the lines see for example not in the same order or with the different dimensions this is uh, for showing you usage of uh, relation so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these two lines perpendicular to each other so here we have the relation for that purpose click on the first line and press and hold the control and click on the other line now here I'm going to give the perpendicular relation now these two lines are perpendicular to each other what I'm going to do is I want to make all these lines parallel see one two three four these four lines should be parallel so I'm making it parallel now now the height is 15 we know that right so we need to give the height over here the height is 15 it's given in the figure here you can see that so now another option is no need to give 15 for all figures we have another relation click 1 2 3 4 and you can give equal option so it will be equal all the way now you can join the parts over here and also here and we can delete the reference line so this is it now another thing is we need to give a circle over here it's very simple you can draw a circle circle the radius of the circle is 10 it's given diameter 20 it is asking for the diameter diameter 20 and if you want to make it as radius showing as radius you can take radius option directly from here here now the height between these two from here to here it's 15 so and from center to this distance 32.5 and giving the dimensions and everything now only one thing pending and uh, we have the curves inside this is called the fillet we can use the fillet option directly to convert that see go to fillet and give the fillet value the value is not given there the fillet value is 5 then click the portions you want to convert so these are the three portions to convert in a single click it will be changed so this is our figure so here we have exercise number four in this particular figure we need to use the polygons like a hexagon and pentagon inscribed circle and a circumscribed circle and there is some other options we need to take care of like uh, this particular slot is exactly in the middle of these two circles so we'll start straight away go to sketch and select the front plane I'm starting with the two circles I am taking two circles here and the left circle this is having the diameter 60 and I have another circle that is diameter 40 so I have two circles here and uh, now what I need to do is I need to take the polygons the first polygon I have and the distance between these two is here we can give the distance so Uh, for constructing a figure you can use your own method it is not necessary to follow the method that I am following because I am considering this as the easiest method for me but you can find a very easy method for you to complete all the figures so please go with your method this is simply for the reference now we are continuing now we have two circles over here and I'll give the dimensions here it is 60 and uh, this side it's 40 so if you want to give the dimension exactly like this same and we can go with uh, go to leaders and give these two options so you can give exactly like that same thing over here all, as well going with the uh, leaders and uh, giving these two so that's done now now we need to make the middle portion in the middle portion here you can see that there is a slot in the middle not exactly in the middle between these two center points but it is in the middle between these two n quarter points these two points I'll show you that so for that purpose I'm drawing a line 
and uh, for the reference I'm taking center line starting from here to here now by using the center point slot I can do the figure mm, here so I'll give the dimension the dimension from center to center this is 60 actually it is defined as 70 here you can see that it's defined as 70 and the radius is 5 only so this is the figure we have right now so when you are checking I have given a dimension of 60 but this means 70 that is including this curve also so that's the difference okay and uh, now another thing is uh, we need to draw the polygons inside for drawing the polygon the first polygon here you can see that the first polygon is a hexagon with an inscribed circle so I'm going with the hexagon with an inscribed circle so here it is inscribed and in order to make the line horizontal you can click on any of the edges and make it horizontal and give the dimension also and I am giving the dimension from here to here it is specified it is 20 now in the other side here also we have another polygon that is with the five sides and also circumscribed circle so I'm zooming this area and make it horizontal and and make sure that the base is horizontal give the smart dimension from center to here it's 15 so that's done to represent this dimension exactly same as that of our exercise we need to remove this dimension then zoom this area go to smart dimension zoom it and you will get this point it is representing the circle we need this point as well as this point here you can see that here we go 70 okay now this is the same representation as that of our exercise now we can go with the other part here we have two lines 20 mm apart so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset entity option with my so 10 here you can see that I'm going with bidirectional see it will give two separate lines at a distance of 10 mm away from the line so I'm remo removing these two dimensions and I can give the same dimension as that of see I'm giving these two dimensions this should be 20 and this 10 so I can extend all the sides by using the extend entity here you can see that I'm extending here 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 and also here now there is one more thing we have the fillets in the sides and it is the, the value is not specified so you can go with the your own value I am selecting a fillet radius of 20 over here and 10 in this side also so I am going with the same option so in order to make a fillet I am using the three point arc here we cannot use this fillet directly over here to make a make that so I am going with the three point arc zoom this area the three point should be starting from here and here then going with a 20 so for that purpose I take smart dimension I am giving the radius 20 here and in order to make it proper we can go with the relation I'm making a relation between this line press and hold the control button and select the other one make it tangent same option here also with this curve and the circle give tangent option here and you can remove this end by using trim entities using the power trim I am trimming this area so this area is fine now and I can mirror this one over here so I am going mirror entities entities to mirror is this one and here also and I am trim away this portion when I am trimming away this portion it will uh, looking like an over defined one the reason is here I am giving this much is 20 and this distance is to be 10 always but uh, we cannot keep that dimension it is representing here you can see that when I am removing this one it is showing that it is over defined so we can check for the solution when you are checking for the solution if you want to get a clear idea about 
these kind of things you can go and check video number two where I properly specified about the over defining options so you go to click over here over defined you can go for the diagnose there are two solution you can either remove this one or remove this one so I'm going with the first option accept and tick it so now it's fine so the same principle you can use over here to complete the other end as well see I'm zooming this area same procedure same thing here I have 10 only go I'm giving 10 and give the same relations between these two here we need a tangent here as well so two tangents and removing trim away extra portion so and also you can give a mirror over here go to mirror this is the first portion and mirror about the axis here also you need to remove zoom it and remove the extra portion so this is our figure only thing is we need to double check for all the dimensions and uh, we need to give only one dimension here here it is specified 79 all other dimensions that we have given so I am taking from here to here this is 79 now it's okay and this is all about exercise number Thank you. So here we have the exercise number five. In this particular figure, we are going to use an additional tool which is called the arc slot at an angle of 120 degree. And here we have one straight slot and all of the dimensions are given. And one dimension is missing in this figure is the height from this line to the base. So we are going to draw it straight away. I'm taking a new sketch selecting the front plane I'm starting with the mid plane this is 12.3 the height is given this height is 10 and coming back to same position and by using the snap we can complete this figure now we have a circle so here I have a straight slot using the straight slot the distance of straight slot is given 4.5 this is only the question 4.5 and it is in the middle also so I'm making it in middle by using the relation we can make this point and this point make it vertical so it will come in the middle automatically and radius of the circle is given this is 1.2 radius 1.2 so height is also given from here to here it's 2.3 so that area has fixed now so next uh, we can give a fillet in this area the fillet dimension is given fillet radius is 2.6 so go ahead with the 2.6 in these two points I'm giving also here now we have a semicircle in this side of radius 1.8 and at a height of 5.4 so we are taking doing it here the radius is 1.8 so it is asking for okay the diameter it is asking for the diameter so 1.8 into 2 as I mentioned it's 3.6 at a height from here to here it's 5.4 can give the dimension also and remove the unwanted portions removing it now we will make the dimensions clear once we complete the figure so and uh, I'm drawing a reference line here as shown in the figure drawing a reference line and I'm also constructing a same reference line here as well see now we can use this reference line for mirror the entity so I'm taking mirror this entity should be mirrored on the other side also 
and now we you, uh, we can trim away this portion and the pending one is the arc slot here you can see that the arc slot I'm taking center point arc slot starting with this starting from here so making the center point arc in order to make it straight we can do one thing first to give the dimensions included angle is 120 and the radius is also given the inside radius this one is this radius is 4.1 I'm giving 4.1 and also here we have 0 0.9 this one is 0.9 so it's done but we need to make it straight in order to make it straight I'm selecting this one and also this one and make it this one and the line and make it coincident so now we can see that the figure has completely straight so this is the figure we have now we need to draw a circle in the at a distance of 7.8 that's simple just take a circle and draw it in the diameter is 3.6 I'm giving 3.6 here at a height from here to here it's 7.8 so we have given all the dimensions now and then we need to make it proper so this is 12.3 now here we have 4.5 here the dimension is not given here in the other side we can give it in the same side see here the dimension is radius 1.8 and now here 1.2 radius here the radius is given this side it's radius 2.6 we can give the same way now all these dimensions are 2.3 can make it it's inside now okay make this also and one other dimension is this radius we can represent this one now no this so this is our figure exercise number 5 so exercise 6 is a very simple figure with a three point arc in four sides and all other parts are very similar and all the dimensions are given except this fillet uh, we can take it as uh, 5 or 10 so we'll straight away go to the new take part and go for 2d sketch I'm selecting the front plane so here one important point is you can use as I mentioned earlier you can use your own method to complete the figure whatever I am going to explain is my method and my perspective go ahead with your perspective and your idea so here the height is given it's a 60 plus 50 plus 50 it's comes around 160 and also the length 100 plus 70 plus 70 so here we have the height and uh, this is also now we need to make a circle in the middle uh, circle of diameter 120 so 120 circle now I'm removing these uh, construction lines now keep the dimension of the circle as well it's 120 I'm making it it's 129 meter and I also have 
one portion here I'm doing it by using the corner rectangle I'm drawing over here so the dimension is given 30 and 130 so here the dimension is 30 and here it is 130 and the gap is 15 In the figure we can see that this gap is 15 it's given so taking this gap this is 15 and there is a fillet here we can see that this fillet it, the fillet value is not given I'm taking the fillet it's 10 yes. so this is also done now and we can mirror this one over here so mirror entities we need to select this whole figure and mirror about this one so done now we have to draw these two parts here we can see that this is not a complete circle so this arc is at a height of 20 and it is spanning at a distance of 100 in order to do that I am taking midpoint line and then draw a line of 50 so I will get uh, two reference over here here you can see that I have two reference here and then I am making a point at a height of 20 so this will be 20 see and the distance between these two this line from here to here it will be 100 so what I'm going to do is I'm taking a three-point arc zoom the area starting from here and over here and zoom and click if it is not properly coinciding here you can see that it is not co coinciding properly so click the point and click click the arc you can give coincident option so it will be coincident properly. so this is the option we have now and I am removing the extra portion trim away so it's done and now I can mirror it over here the same procedure over here also here we have 20 same height but uh, the span is only 60 I'm taking same starting from the middle distance of 30 so it will give uh, okay we need to take midpoint we need to take midpoint uh, line so one side give 30 so there is another at a height of 20 we can give it directly from here to here should be 20 and now the same three point starting from here and uh, we cannot coincide it properly so just use relation select the curve and also the point then make it coincident now we can mirror these two curves in the other sides also by using the mirror entities option click on the mirror entity I'm selecting this one and also mirror about this axis and the same thing we need a curve in the middle so I'm going with the curve and mirror about this one and now we can remove the extra portions and uh, we can set all the dimensions properly according to our figure deleting this one this that will be here so I'm going with the here it is 70 70 also here then all dimensions here Zero. so we will go with this one 50 60 50 now other dimensions are this is 130 and here we have 30 
that we already have specified here and the gap is also now the radius is 10 you can represent the radius at the other side so this is our figure number 6 so this is exercise number 7 here we need to use the circular sketch pattern for completing the figure in a in four places in fact so here we have a number of circles we are starting with the all circles here first one the circle the inside circle of diameter 5 and then we have another circle of 9 and in the outermost center circle that is 19 and one circle which include the base of uh, that circle is 16 so these are the four circles so one two this is the 16 circle and here we have 19 and now we need to convert this circle into a construction geometry here also we can convert construction geometry by simple clicking so this is the option we are using construction geometry and now we need to give the dimensions properly so inside this is 5 and uh, here this one is 9 give it 9 diameter 9 now we have the outside the circle 19 now we are starting with the the small circle here we have the small circles of diameter 2 starting from here small circle of diameter 2 and now we can pattern it by using circular sketch pattern here it is if you are not aware about circular sketch pattern there are a number of different options we can choose from this side so if you are not properly aware go and check the video number 3 there we have explained about uh, the different options and how we need to use and everything so here I am selecting this one I need total six numbers so I am giving six here on the left side so that part has over now now I need to use the circular sketch pattern again to make this one but here there is one mistake here we can see that the inside diameter of this one is 2 and they have represented that the outside is also radius 1 so this should be 1.5 so I'm giving the dimension now so I'm taking so this area there is one circle so this is having diameter 2 it's given 2 and another one it is specified that the diameter is 2 but it is actually 3 so I am trim away the extra portions here and here and we can use two vertical lines to join it make sure that it is vertical so click and make vertical here also so this is it now we can pattern it over the circumference I'm selecting all the things so and I need a total 12 numbers so it's like this so now the last part either you can take uh, trim entities and trim away all these portions one by one or you can go ahead with the deleting the circle and uh, join one portion by using arc see I'm joining these two portions this now go ahead with the circular sketch pattern select this and 12 numbers so it will automatically give uh, so this is our figure now we need to give the dimensions here I'm changing this one so representation here in this dimension now we need to represent radius 5 and one more is the included angle I'm selecting 1 2 and 3 this will give the included angle 30 so this is it this is exercise number 7 thank you
uh, here comes the last figure that is exercise number 8 here also we need to use some uh, commands like uh, straight slot angle slot and some relations the figure is having a number of different dimensions the most important point with this particular figure is we need to maintain all dimensions at the time of drawing itself otherwise the figure will be distorted when we are giving any relations and uh, I will show you that and apart from that here we are using very small values with the three decimal points and so we need to set our dimension with the three decimal points before drawing okay and uh, we are starting so first uh, part I'm setting the sketch before setting uh, the unit to three decimal points we will go with uh, our regular method and then later I will show you how to change all the decimal points in a single go so I'm starting with uh, a straight slot here so I'm so straight slot 1 it's given 1 now we can give the radius the radius is 4.437 here you can see that when I give the value 0.437 it is automatically changed it to 0.44 the reason of this one is we are giving only two decimal points for our dimensions in order to change this one click over here then go to tolerance and precision I am using three. so now it will show over here this is applicable for this particular dimension only it is not applicable for the entire figure so I will show you how to change it for entire figure go to options go to document properties then here we have the dimensions click on dimension and here the primary precision we need to set it as 3 so I'm setting it now all the coming dimensions will be with the three decimal points no need to change it uh, individually again and again so now the next uh, we have an offset distance of 0 0.750 minus 0 0.437 this much gap um so starting here same one but outside or you can use the offset option also the value is 0.75 here okay now i need to draw these two circles and these two circles also and i'm extending the reference line so i'm keeping two circles over here the dimensions are given 1.125 and 1.750 so here 1.125 and 1.750 so these are the two dimensions we have now I'll change this dimension to the representation here now we have two circles in the top these two circles so I'm randomly drawing these two circles and we can give the relations relative dimensions so this is diameter 0 0.750 and this one is 1.625 so that part is over now you can change here the dimension here also so we can uh, give the relative di uh, values in between so from here to here the value is given this is 1.875 and here the value is the bottom 1.875 so this value is also given from here to here 0 0.750 okay now uh, we need to go with the, this arc slot To draw the arc slot, first I am drawing one reference line 
at an angle of 40 so angle between these two this is 40 and I'm extending this one okay now we can take center point arc slot starting from the center and I'm drawing it over here so the dimension is also given it is 0.438 so 0.438 now and now we need to give the relative dimensions between these two so we can give from this point to this point it's given 2.312 and also from here to here is given it's a 5.804 so that dimension is also given now now we need to make this portion this is at a distance of 0.875 I'm using the same method or you can use the offset also you can use the offset but you need to take the difference between these two values so I'm starting with the here and give the value here the value is 0.875 so I'm keeping that value now so now we need to draw the lower portion here we can see that this is a curve and now we need to join this curve along with this portion here is a connection line here is a curve it is tangent relation with these two positions all the curves are tangent relations and we will make all the points and then we will remove the unwanted portions for that one I am starting with this curve this curve is having a radius of 1.375 I am taking the circle and I am drawing so it is asking for radius so, so 2 into 1.375 so this is the, the radius and uh, we can represent this as radius by using this three point uh, 1.375 so now we need to make all the connections the connection is starting from here I'm giving this connection it is the line is starting from here and merged with the, the circle that we just drawn so I'm drawing a circle here you can see that I'm starting from here and I'm giving a relation between these two tangent circle press control and select the line and give tangent relation okay now we can give a relation in the top here so the value is 1.75 so first I'm giving the dimension it's 1.75 zero now we need to give the tangent relation here tangent so the next one is we need to give the curve over here that is 0 0.625 giving the value 0.625 and give the relation it's tangent here and tangent here as well now the last position this is here but the value is not given so that we can use the 0.625 over here also assuming this area and sitting from here and here and the value is point six two five now the same procedure give the tangent relation and also now we need to remove all unwanted portions 
by using trim entities see this is not needed this one here also so this is a figure and uh, we can also arrange different dimensions in a proper manner so this is a figure we have if uh, you want to reduce the size of this uh, dimension you can go to the same option like document properties go to dimensions here we have the font option by using the font you can reduce say for example I am reducing this to nine. all dimensions are changed it to nine. here you can see that so then you can keep it like this this is our final figure so this is all about different exercises of uh, 2d sketch in SOLIDWORKS and the next session is uh, SOLIDWORKS features that is 3d drawing by using the SOLIDWORKS software very important one as we know the 2d very clearly we can easily convert the 2d into 3d and where we are going to discuss about different conversion tools editing tools how to create a plane and reference geometries and how to instantly make 3ds and there also we have a number of exercises okay then see you there in session number four thank you so much